What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And it seems like every time we do any testing with oscillating tools and oscillating blades, when we're cutting wood with nails, immediately there's always a whole bunch of people that go, yeah, that blade shot. And I think to myself, I don't understand. We didn't cut anything out of what the blade was rated to cut. I mean, wood with nails means you can cut nails. I think sometimes people get confused by building materials. I'm gonna talk about what exactly I mean right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to our merch store. You can get things like hats, t-shirts, and stickers. Links in the description below. All right, here it is. This is Fines Wooden Nail Blades. Okay, this is their universal long life blade. This, this blade has already cut tons of wood and it's actually cut a lot, a lot of nails. Here's the thing. I have 50 nails lined up in a row. There are 21 degree nails, in case you're, you're full head, round head. I believe that this blade should have no problem making it through all 50 of these nails and will still have service life left in it. Oh yeah, in case you were wondering, we have Milwaukee's M18 non-fuel oscillating tool. just cut through that two by four. It wasn't the easiest cut to make, but it was after pretty much almost 50 nails. It might've knocked a couple over here and there, but you can see there's a large amount of nails that we cut through. Then went on to cut this two by four and there's still teeth left on this blade. Now, why do people say after watching us cut a couple of nails, oh, that blade is dead. This blade cut multiple, plenty of nails, even before we did today's test. And it still went on to do all that work. The thing is, is that it, it, people, when they see wool with nails, they think that they can also cut things like drywall screws. And drywall screws are not a nail. The steel, the metal used to make drywall screws is a much harder metal than the metal used to make framing nails. So I think some of you in the past might have hit some screws with your oscillating blade. And quite frankly, I mean, drywall screws will blow out an oscillating blade, even if it's rated for wood with nails. 
you know, you hit a couple of screws, it's it. It's, it's probably going to be done. Or is it? Today we have a new blade from Fine. It's their carbide, tin-coated, E-Cut Carbide Pro. It's product number 6350223626260. This is their metal cutting blade. Now, here's the deal. It does say wood with screws, wood with nails, heavy, looks like steel, fiberglass, PVC. I say we give it a shot. This is designed for Starlock, and you probably would need an adapter, but this blade does include the standard pattern for a standard oscillating tool like this M18. Now the M18 does also come with that adapter, but it's not necessary. Let's pop this blade on. You can see it fits right on. Look at it, look at it. You know, it's got, it's got a protective coating on its, on its teeth. It is there to protect the teeth. This is the thing though, would it lubricate? I don't know. But what we do have is, we have some framing screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna cut eight of these framing screws. It's rated for it. Let's see how it does. And uh, if it could take it, if it stands up to it. We got through a single. I'm gonna tell you, cutting through screws is no simple task. These are very, screws in general are a very hard metal. through all eight of them screws. And if you look at it, every one of those teeth is still intact. Wow. Very little tooth damage. I, I feel like I might see a very little bit on my right side, your left side. But overall, the teeth are in great condition. I promise you something tougher if it made it through. We have three, four, five drywall screws. I gotta tell you, if it makes it through this, I'm gonna be thoroughly impressed. by blades definitely not aggressive enough to make to make a an effortless cut through wood I don't think let's test it out I tell you I feel like we got less smoke with the carbide blade. Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you as impressed with Fine's oscillating blades as much as I am? Do you think we answered some questions about what you can do in an oscillating tool and the blades? Do you think maybe you were using the wrong blades for the application? Or do you think maybe the application was wrong for the blades that you were using? We want to know. Leave it down below. Also, if you like the content, do us a favor. Smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It helps out the channel immensely. There's no better way to help out the very cool gang, the coolest community on all of the interwebs. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.